Blues boss Gary Rowett sat down with the press ahead of Saturday's trip to Elland Road. And the first item on the agenda was new signing, Che Adams. I think when you sign someone that late up towards a game, uh, your debate is always, you know, do you chuck them straight into a game? Um, or do you give him a couple of days settling in period first training? You know he's a young player still, and we want to we want to give him the best possible chance of success here. Um, and often that's a good start um, to your to your life at Birmingham. So again, we'll always assess that. You know he's missed a little bit of a little bit of continuity tr tr uh, pre season because of all the speculation around him moving. I think you know three weeks ago probably Sheffield United had half an eye on him leaving. Uh, and he didn't play in that many games. So he's probably a little bit behind one or two of our lads in terms of sharpness and, and match fitness. Um, so again, we'll have, to, we'll have to assess that over the next few days. I certainly won't chuck a player into a scenario if they're not ready to do themselves justice. You know, after that, I'd rather work with them for, for a week or two before that period. Um, but hopefully, um, you know, he'll be, he'll be ready and available to... Uh, to have some sort of impact this weekend. Rowett then shed some light on the speculation that Dundee's Greg Stewart could also be joining Adams at St Andrews. Yeah, a lot of speculation, a lot of stories around, and, and I don't mind, you know, sharing with everyone where we are. But um, you know, we agreed a fee with Dundee a couple of days ago. He's a player that we really like. He's a player we think can add goals and, and a different type of goal for it. Obviously, left footer usually plays off the right. Um, but you know, good set pieces as well. So you know, and in terms of his goals scored, like really good stats over the last couple of years. So um, you know, but agreeing a fee with a club is the first stage of any transfer, and of course, then you've got to agree terms with the player and his agent. Um, and then, of course, if you can do that, but still the medical. But um, player and his agent, obviously, at the moment, uh, have not agreed the terms that we've we've set out and again listen that's every, anyone's prerogative that's the whole point of us to try and get those over the line uh, we've not quite managed to do that so it's still up in the air you know I think unless he signs for someone else or perhaps re-signs for Dundee um, then it's still something that we'll always look at but of course we have to now look at our other options as well. The manager also admitted that he's been impressed with some of Blue's youngsters that have made that step into the first team. I think that again, I don't want to put too much pressure on those players, and I don't want to, you know, in any way um, use that to kind of deflect on one or two issues within the team. Um, but I think it is a, a really, really uh, impressive thing about the pre-season that all of a sudden, once again, we've got three stroke four young players pushing, ready to be in the team. Um, you know, and I think any club, any fan base um, would want that, you know, would, would want their own players pushing through to complement some very, very good championship players, um, you know, and that's, and that's, that's really, really positive for us. I thought Josh Cogley would have learned an awful lot from his first start. Um, for, and a lot of things he did, he did well. In, in, in some of the other things, I think he, he knows he'd probably want to do better. Uh, yes, experience. Jack Storer, I think the same. You know, I think at the moment, Cogley, Storer, uh, Reese Brown, you know, could all stake a claim to be in and around your first team group. But you know, I don't think we can start looking at those as as you know being. Um, I think f for me, if I if I get everything right, then they should be fighting to get in the team rather than always in the team. Um, and us saying we're a young team developing, you know, I don't want to be a young team developing, I want to be a team with potential, but a team that also is, is, is playing well and winning games right now. Now the manager is looking ahead to Saturday's fixture against what he believes will be a new look, Leeds United. Now the only concern I'd have, which would be offset by, by Leeds' own, I suppose, concern of, of playing extra time in the week, um, but they had, I think, a lot of their players played extra time, whereas... Two of our players played extra time, and a few, and a sprinkling of others that um, were involved in the first game against against Cardiff. So, um, now listen, we know that you know under, under Gary they're going to be a new a new look lead side. We're going to play a slightly different way. He's going to put his own stamp on it. I thought he you know did a fantastic job at Swansea. I think any any manager that can say they've beat Arsenal a couple of times, I think, and beat some of the top teams 
with a Swansea side, um, you know, can can rightly say they're a, they're a fantastic young manager. Um, but it's up to us to go there and cause cause them a problem. Of course, you know, we know that uh, first game of the season, um, we were a little disappointed with drawing nil nil um, at home, but thought we looked really solid. Thought we worked incredibly hard. We just needed that little um, icing on top of the cake at the top end of a pitch that we know every club's looking for. That that's, that defines most games in terms of whether you win them or lose them. Um, so of course we'll be we'll be looking to add that on uh, on on Saturday.